Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July weekend and now we're back to see how the construction is going at Giga Texas. For today we're going to do some updates and some discussion about timelines. There's a new supercharger installation permit we'll go over, a new supercharger installation on the east side near the parking lot, and a variety of timeline discussion and speculations. The first bit of news is a new supercharger permit. Uh, you can see the number there up just to the north of Giga Texas at the corner of the State Highway 130, the toll road, and Highway 969. And also, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner photo, they just installed those 12 uh, prefabricated superchargers near the east side parking lot area. The first bit of the timeline discussion that we're going to go over has to do with the main facility itself. The one year anniversary of construction start is just a few weeks away, which is hard to believe. Also based on uh, some of the inside information that I've gotten, and what we've seen on the site, it looks like the first substantial completion target date now is the first week or so of October, which is a little bit of a slip. And as you can see, substantial completion as a stage of construction project is deemed sufficiently completed to the point where it can be used as the intended purpose. Uh, construction will be continuing on, but it will allow some sort of production to begin. And now we'll talk a little bit about some production timelines and speculation. Um, the expectations has been Model Y is going to begin the initial small scale pre-production sometime this quarter, which is hard to believe, third quarter. But I think with some of the delays of weather impacts in the May and June time frame, it's probable it's going to slip into early fourth quarter, maybe October, maybe November, but we'll have to see. Um, I don't expect any significant production and deliveries of Model Y until the uh, first quarter of 2022. And uh, let's look at some possible numbers as a reason why I think that. Many of you may know Rob Maurer from Tesla Daily, an outstanding source of information. And uh, what I'm using here is his uh, information in the upper right hand corner photo of the Giga Shanghai Model Y production ramp. And I'm using that as a basis to kind of estimate Giga Texas. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this is just my average estimated production numbers uh, for Giga Texas. Um, and I'm just assuming that it's about 50% as much as Giga Shanghai saw. And the main rationale for that is that Giga Texas itself is brand new and it's ramping its own production capabilities up uh, and just operation at the same time that they're trying to ramp up Model Y, Cybertruck, and then 4680 production, not to mention the semi. Uh, Giga Shanghai was already established and uh, operational at the time that they uh, started Model Y production ramp, so I think it was probably a little bit faster at uh, Giga Shanghai than what we'll see at Giga Texas. Turning our attention to Cybertruck, here's where I think uh, we're going to be seeing the uh, initial production beginning, probably very late fourth quarter uh, and into first quarter 2022. Part of my rationale is that they need to finish the casting machine structure and the foundations likely mid-August and then get the 8,000 ton gigapress installed and functioning probably mid-September or October. Then they have to get all the other specialized Cybertruck manufacturing equipment, uh, get the uh, Cybertruck portion of the General Assembly building uh, uh, completed, and then do production testing and uh, acceptance, which will probably be about November. And here are a few recent articles that uh, kind of back up my thoughts on the Cybertruck. Uh, this is a 18 May discussion from Teslarati, and all of these will have the links in the video description for you can get more information. But the Cybertruck initial production remains uh, interesting according to them. They're still trying to get by the end of the year, but with the ramp of Model Y and the 4680 cells, that may uh, cause some delays, especially with the construction of Giga Texas itself. And here's a uh, 25 May uh, article from Electric that's talking about, uh, again, they're trying to get Cybertruck by the end of the year. However, Elon Musk has warned that uh, delays are possible. We're still trying to work on getting Giga Texas itself built. And there could be challenges along the way, uh, and it could push first deliveries to 2022. And finally, a very recent article, 4th of July from Tesserati, uh, is talking about the uh, Cybertruck and Elon's uh, newest information on that and of course he's talking about uh, the deliveries are definitely dependent on the uh, Gigafactory Texas progress and they're still trying to get by the end of the year but uh, again we may be seeing a push to 2022. Looking at production of the 4680s at Giga Texas it looks like it's probably going to be pushed to the first quarter of 2022. Uh, the initial production of Model Y and Cybertrucks using the 4680s will probably be using the Cato Road 4680s for a while. 
Uh, in my opinion, it's probably not gonna be till first quarter 2022 until Giga Texas will have all the materials, facilities, and equipment ready to go. And then it won't be until mid 2022 until Giga Texas is able to start using their own 4680s. And as far as the semi truck is concerned, I think that's still going to be uh, well into 2022, probably middle of 2022. We'll see initial production and deliveries by the end of this year, but probably uh, it'll be from Giga Nevada and Fremont, certainly not Giga Texas. Um, I think uh, based on completion of standup of Giga Texas itself, Model Y, Cybertruck, and 4680s, Semi is really just going to be uh, kept until mid-2022. And it's also possible that the foundation that's sort of the diamond shape on the west side could actually be where the Semi is produced. Uh, we'll have to monitor that and see if that is in fact the case. So these are my thoughts on the uh, timelines for Giga Texas as we move forward from this point in time. Again, these are my own personal estimates. Uh, we may learn additional information that will uh, cause us to have to update again. Uh, there's a lot of work that remains to be done on Giga Texas to be able to start doing production. So uh, very aggressive targets to hit. So we'll be watching that as we go. Um, I hope that you found this uh, discussion helpful and I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. So uh, leave them in the comments. Before we begin, I would like to say thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.